today I'm going to make a Chinese New Year maths table activity. You will need some pom poms, chopsticks, wooden pegs, a glue gun, marker pens, a paint palette, something round to draw around, and some white computer paper. You will need two wooden Chinese chopsticks. These ones came free with a Chinese takeaway and they can be easily broken into two separate chopsticks. Don't worry if they come out slightly uneven. Next, take one of the wooden pegs and line up the chopsticks along the edge of it, up to about the middle where the hinge is. Make sure that the ends of the chopsticks will meet. When you're happy with the positioning, take the glue gun and apply a thin layer of glue to one side of the peg. Press and hold the chopstick onto the peg until the glue has hardened. Then turn the peg over and do the same on the other side, applying the glue and holding the chopstick in place until both are solid. As the glue is drying, hold the tips of the chopsticks together to make sure that they are both aligned correctly. Next, take your paint palette and check that your circular object will fit inside the cups of the palette. Take a fresh sheet of computer paper and use your circular object as a template to draw around. Make several copies. enough circles drawn on your paper. Use a pair of scissors to cut the circles out, being careful to stick to the lines. When you have cut out all of your circles, lay them out face down on a surface so that any lines left are hidden. Next, take a marker pen and use it to write numbers on each of the circles. For a basic maths table, just write one number on each circle. In this video, I am using red and yellow to represent the colours of Chinese New Year. Place one of the number circles in each cup of the palette. Put them in a random order. Choose a container to keep your pom-poms in on the display. I've chosen this one because of the Chinese pattern on the top. Put the pom-poms inside the container. It is easy to extend this activity for more able children. Simply remove some of the numbers from the paint palette and replace them with addition sums or subtractions. If you want to adapt this activity for a different theme, you could use green and blue pom-poms for water-based themes or white for winter and snow.